Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a first impressions review of the Crocs Classic Crush. But before anything else, if you're new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I do unboxings and reviews of bags, shoes, and beauty products. So if these things are up your alley, then I would really appreciate it if you could hit that subscribe button down below. And if you want to connect with me in my socials, it's at TrishDLM. <music> Today's video is going to be a first impressions review of the Crocs Classic Crush. I've really wanted Crocs for a while now. It's been the trend and the hype for the longest time, especially because the Gen Z style is very in right now and a lot of people are actually wearing Crocs. I've been meaning to buy myself a pair of Crocs, but I just never really found the right pair that looked good on my feet. I've tried on the regular flat clogs before and I just felt that they were just too flat for me and it just didn't really flatter my style. My style is a bit more towards the fashionable side so I just couldn't get my style to merge with the current products that Crocs had before. Like their shoe styles from before just seemed very hard to style with my current wardrobe. So I never really bit the bullet. Until came the Crocs Classic Crush. Now this one I just saw by accident. I was just walking around the mall one day and I would normally go into the Crocs store because I really tried to make it work because it was a trending shoe I really wanted to make it work so every time I would go to the mall I'd always pass by Crocs to see if there's something that really fit my style like either a color or a new style or whatever but yeah it never did but this one time I entered the store and I actually saw this and the first moment I saw it I was like okay now that shoe that shoe, we can try to make that one work. So I tried it on and it was just love at first sight. I was like, okay, this is the Crocs for me. The regular flat ones or even the clogs or the platform ones just never really seemed to fit my style. But when I saw this, I was like, okay, we're definitely getting this. And so I finally decided to pull the trigger and got myself a pair of Crocs. So these are the Crocs Classic Crush and I just ordered them from Zalora. It came in this plastic bag and I'll just open it to show you guys. And this. Is what it looks like and I'll just bring out the other pair so these are the shoes and I just feel like these are the minimum style of Crocs that I would go for because somehow they are still stylish because I just couldn't get myself I don't know like my style just didn't match with the regular flat Crocs. So when I saw this, I was definitely like, okay, this is something that I can definitely work around with. So the Crocs Classic Crush, these are in the color Bone, and that's another reason why I thought that this would really go well with my style because I really like neutrals. So this color is something that I knew uh, would look really good with a lot of outfits, and it wouldn't look like too out of place, you know? It can actually look cool. So this just came with a tag, there's some paper inside, and it also still came with a little size hanger. So so this is the shoe and what I like about it is that I feel like it's very different in terms of design already. It's more, it's really more on the fashionable side of Crocs. So the main difference of this in comparison to the regular Crocs is that number one, you can obviously see that it's a platform. And the platform is a whole chunk as you can see and there's no space in between. I feel like the fact that there's no space in between makes it just... The design is just really different. It's more now and it's more fashionable in comparison to the regular ones. So I feel like this platform really elevates the shoe. It just really streamlines the shoe to make it more cohesive. Because they also have the regular platform one, the platform clog. It's a little less elevated than this shoe, but it had like that space in the middle, which I didn't really think was a clean detail. Like I just love how clean this is because it's just so streamlined. So the platform on this is about, I think I'd say two inches. I have my trusty tape mesh over here and let me measure it so this is wow it's two and a half so this platform this entire platform the height is two and a half inches so that's actually pretty high so that's one of the main differences and also the strap the sport mode strap over here it doesn't have the crocs design it doesn't have like the regular alligator because I know that the regular ones they have like the alligator face in there but this one is just very plain and simple now let's go on to why I like the Crocs classic crush and why I really fell in love with the design 
So I think one of the things that really drew me to it was that it looks very today uh, because of the platform as you can see. Right now in fashion, the trends are mostly anything platform basically. We have the dad sandals, the chunky dad sandals with platforms on them. We have the Alexander McQueen chunky sneakers which kind of have the same silhouette as this. It's, it has like a really big platform for their sneakers and it also kind of reminds me of the Yeezy. It's different, it's not a Yeezy but there's something about the silhouette of this shoe which reminds me of a Yeezy shoe. Like the Yeezy slippers at least. Like I feel like this area over here is just very reminiscent of that in terms of design. That's why I really fell in love with the Crocs Classic Crush. And also, do you guys remember when Crocs did their collaboration with Balenciaga? And Balenciaga came up with these like really chunky Crocs looking shoes. Which were basically like Crocs because it was a collab, but it was it was like a platform. It was like really big. It was like this big, but they did something to the Crocs that made it really more trendy. So I think when they did this design, the classic Crush, I think it's also kind of inspired by that Balenciaga collaboration. This platform just really looks high fashion to me, and that may seem funny because it's Crocs, but that's what I really feel. Especially because Balenciaga already did a collab with them. And since we were talking about Balenciaga, one of the reasons why I say that it's kind of inspired by that collab because you guys remember the triple s sneakers by balenciaga those sneakers were also chunky and they had a little bit of platform vibe and if you compare them i really think that it kind of also drew inspiration from that okay now let's talk about the sizing i got these in uh women's eight and men's six so for sizing reference, I am a Euro 39 in designer shoes, I am a Euro 39 in Zara shoes, but in heels, I'm usually a 38, and in sneakers, I am a 7. So I'm a 7 youth size in your usual like Nike Adidas sneakers. And for this, I got a women's 8, and it fits just right. So a women's 8 for me in these Crocs Classic Crush are the perfect sizing. It's not too big, not too small, it's just right. Okay, now, what are Crocs without gibbets? So of course, I had to get myself some gibbets. Now, these ones I just got off of Shopee because, girl, I am not paying like 200 pesos per tiny little thingy mabob to put on your shoe, right? It's like basically plastic. So I got a bunch of them off of Shopee and I am going to show you guys how I style them. So I actually have so much. I actually even got this big, what do you call this? Big, big frog. And yeah, there's a lot of gibbets actually. I also got the Starbucks drink. You can see I'll show you guys close up what these gibbets look like but yeah I got a ton and I'm just going to show you guys how I style them okay so this is the first look so I'm just gonna be doing close up I didn't really fill it in because I think that crocs aren't really meant to be like filled with every single gibbet like I don't think all the holes are supposed to be filled with a gibbet. I think this one is really cute. It has the big frog over there. It has a sunflower. It says aloha. I just really like the colors. And actually it matches my outfit. My shirt is also in patches right now with some hint of pink. And it's also beige and bone like my shoes. So I think that's really cute. So yeah. So this also has some pink accents on it. And then on this side it has the Toy Story purple bear. Uh, a random alien it says bay and that also has this cleaning thing that says good vibes so i think this is really cute and i also plan to add this this one says fall perfect and it's in pink i have a pair so i plan to put this on the side because there are also holes on the side so one here and then another on the other pair but i can't seem to put it in because the hole is too small so I still have to figure that out on how I'm gonna get this tiny little gibbet in that smaller hole. But yeah, I really like this look and I think that's going to be my go-to style for these shoes. Just this combo. Okay, and for this next one, it's just a little more casual. It's less out there. It's less over the top because it doesn't have that big pink frog. But for this one, again, I just left it at like four gibbets per shoe because it looks really crowded and I don't think it'll look really good if you like fill it in. So for this shoe, I just retained the Alien again. I have a, a Starbucks drink, which is really cute because I love Starbucks. It has my initial letter T and then a cell phone. 
and then on this other shoe it has a uh, rock sign which i think is really nice it has the word extra and then it has some champagne and it has this cute purple prada gibbet which obviously is just for the gibbets not branded prada but yeah i think that's cute so this one is also another option that i could wear with these crocs so that's about it my very quick first impressions review of the crocs classic crush i can't wait to use these shoes i actually really wanted to do this first impressions video already so I can finally start wearing it. I'll probably update you guys with regard to the comfort and everything else after I've worn it for quite some time. Thanks guys for watching and I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could hit that like button down below to help the YouTube algorithm and if you want to connect with me in my socials, it's at TrishDLF. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would really appreciate it if you could and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!